Guys, it's finally here. Look what finally arrived. I finally have my own diamond art set. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been looking forward to this all week. You know, ever since my role model and idol, Amberlynn Reed, started doing diamond art, I figured I should probably do the same. You know, ever since she found all the success now with her weight loss, uh, now that she's an expert in nutrition and weight loss surgery ever, si ever since sitting through that seminar, she's had a lot of success and obviously, I should probably model my life after her so I can be as successful as she is. So I figured I'd start with the diamond art. Now let's see. How do I do this thing? It seems very difficult. My smooth, feeble brain can't seem to figure it out. How did Amber do it? Your ass is not hungry. And I hmm. can say that with my full chest. No, 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 that's not it. I just need to start eating better. No, damn it, that's not it either. What what did she say about diamond art? I think that's been working for me. If I take a sip of drink, a soda, a sip of drink, that means I have to take a sip of water. And it's been helping me drink more water. Oh, the water, that's it. I Guys, I forgot, I need to drink my water. Now remember, there's only, like Amber said, there's only specific ways you can drink water. You gotta do small sips. Let's Let's give this a shot. How did she say to do this? <laughs> well that that did that didn't help at all what the hell uh, uh what uh, okay maybe we'll skip the water tutorial clearly i'm not good at that yet now the diamond art that's that's the that's the stuff knowledge i need to harness right now these are all the diamonds oh my god the little pen that you put your diamond on to put on the paper and then you have your diamonds in here i know that much there's a random square. I don't really know what to do with that. Um, there's a small bit of instructions to read. So I'm gonna read those. I'm excited to give this a go. So the- Yes, of course. Okay, I think I understand this now. Guys, this is so much fun. Holy crap. You take the little dingles over here, you take these little buddies and you put them where the number indicates they go based on their color. Right here, it's got the colors and everything, how you can find it. And then you take these little guys and you pour them in this, okay? And then you get the freaking glue. The glue, you guys. You stab this little guy in there, you get some glue. And then you find one of your little buddies here and then check it out. You can already see I did a little bit of this. And I find you. You is what the letter I'm looking for on here. And I just put that on there, guys. I just put that on there and that's all there is. That's all there is to this thing. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with this? Why am I doing something that Amberlynn Reed told me to do? Damn it, I know one way to solve this. There's only one way to solve this, and that's by the blade. I had to do this for the good of YouTube. This is the only way. Fuck you. <laughs> I showed, what is this? No, you too. I sure showed that inanimate object how it's done. <laughs> how weak. <laughs> That'll show this stupid hobby. Wait, what's that noise? Where is it? I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, Ugh. what was that thing? Where's my shield? I need my shield. Bear, bear, please. Give me my shield, bear, please. I don't know where it's coming. Come on, please. I need your help. I see you now, bastard. Oh, oh, what the hell? Where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fast. I can't keep up with it. Where is it? I got you this time. It's over. It's finished.
What's going on, all you backpedaling crusaders? Crusader Actual here, and I hope y'all enjoyed that little bit of uh, cringe. That was uh, the best acting I've ever done in my life, so I, I really hope y'all appreciated that. Why are you the way that you are? Uh, it took about five years uh, and about $3 million worth of uh, work and effects on top of that, so I really hope y'all are... Uh, appreciate that because uh you know it was my life's work but hey guess what there's also a new amberlynn reed video that just came while i was wasting my time with that stupid video my timing is synchronized it's perfect it's great i'm on a roll <gasps> okay well let's check out the name of this video today so it's called how my gi scan went psych appointment update holy crap titanic lego and it's a vlog of course I don't even, I didn't even hear anything else. All I heard was the Titanic Lego. This is all I really care about, guys. I told you on my last stream, I was wanting this. This is all I wanted to hear about was the Titanic Lego. That's all I want. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to waste too much time here. We're going to hop right into the video here. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me feel better about myself. Same with leaving a cool little comment uh, below. And also, too, in the description below, check out our Discord channel. The Discord's fun, guys. How many times do I have to tell y'all that the Discord's fun? Just join it. Join the Discord, I'm sick of talking about it. Okay, are we good? Are we on the same page now, people? Okay, great. Also, if you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, join the Noble Alliance at the join button below. It's $2.99 a month, and you get access to emojis and whatever. Okay, let's get into the video. Oh. Something I want to point out on her video, well, right now it's, uh, I mean, this is a fairly new video, as you can see, it's 25 minutes ago. Uh, the like to dislike ratio is not too bad yet. I think it's starting to waver though. I think the French, the revolution slowly coming to a close, I think. Uh, because the dislike ratio is starting to catch back up to the like ratio. Because with like her past like four or five videos, there's been a lot more likes than dislikes, which is like unheard of in the Amberverse. Uh, so I think we're starting to see a shift, all right? There's a little shift on the battlefield. Um, so we'll, we'll keep monitoring that as the weeks go by. But I imagine we'll be back to the uh, superior dislike ratio uh, before too long. Oh, also, let's get our uh, bingo cards ready, because I need something else to forget about. <laughs> And we got a title card back. I think she listens to us, guys. I've been complaining so much about the title cards that we don't get anything. We barely get Hey Guys anymore, which is very significant. We need that for it to really be an Amber video. Oh, welcome to a new vlog. I have been really bad with intros and outros. Well, there so it is. I'm trying to work on that. I hope that you guys are having a good day. And I Yeah, it's like not like we've been doing YouTube for 9, 10 years at this point, but all right. Hope that you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so we have a grocery haul. Um, we are shopping for groceries two times a week, and it's working out really good. Since Shopping or ordering? We're not ordering takeout or anything like that. Not only are we saving money, but we're like actually not wasting any food. We're cooking it all. We're eating it all. It's pretty great. So first thing... I like how this is just like the bragging that she can do. She's like, guys, we're actually... The food we're getting, we're actually eating it, guys. We're not being despectful and wasteful. We're actually eating the food that we spend so much money on. Can you believe it, guys? Please, please acknowledge us. First, we got two of these beef sirloin steaks. We got some chicken tenderloins. We got some fresh chicken wings. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like already... F I messed up dude I, i'm bad i'm like talking trash about her like being on youtube for a long period of time and like i can't even remember bingo let's see we got a grocery haul i, I changed the slots around a little bit y'all may notice that yeah! grocery haul cool there we go already got one we got some whole grain thin spaghetti i prefer angel hair but i don't think they have whole grain angel hair so thin spaghetti they is do. like perfect it exists i've seen we want to make a little uh trail mix moment with nuts so we got roasted and salted pistachios. And she said moments. We can go ahead and check that off. I'm on it, guys. I, I've, I've caught two things so far. I'm really proud of myself right now. Salted whole cashews, salted peanuts, um, and then honey roasted almonds. Cool. So That's a high calorie This is a little nuts. bit Great. of a, a splurge, if you will. <laughs> Um, I really love scalloped potatoes, Oof, so I am one. going to have just like a serving of this with some protein and veggies. It is honestly so good. I recommend this, you guys. Ugh, great comfort food. We got some mozzarella string cheese, 
some shredded Mexican style blend, which is my favorite. We got some brie, some salami, cottage cheese, Daisy cottage cheese, which she's she's working for these charcuterie boards guys that's her new thing she's got the salami with it we're upgrading i think at the end of like a year she might move towards like having it off of a paper plate we might actually get like the little wooden block and all that stuff to make it more presentable we might get some better options on there as well i'm looking forward to it you know me i i love charcuterie boards or cheese everything boards. we eat <laughs> it's so good we got some squash zucchini scallion we got some bananas which those are nowhere near ripe or my version of ripe i like when they're like bruised up a bit got some pears grapefruit which i've never had a grapefruit before so what she's never had a grapefruit before no come on i know she's talked about it before i i have an inkling that she's talked about this before she's mentioned having grapefruit before come on i might have to try this is it. like the raspberries all over again with you guys some grapes, some um, pineapple here, apples, a little tiny watermelon. There we go. We're upgrading, guys. I mean, she, she could have done better on the pineapple. Like, the pineapple's a little scary. Like, remember last time she spent, like, $15 on, like, pre-cut pineapple where she could have... I mean, I see one over here, and I see the watermelon because she spent a lot of water money on the watermelon, the pre-cut watermelon, too. So she might be learning a little bit. I don't know why she bought pineapple rings and then bought a pineapple as well. Maybe she needed to reference how to the pineapple supposed to look when you cut it into rings. I, I don't know, I'm speculating, but whatever. It, if we're making better, like more financially frugal choices here, then that's good, right? We should be happy about that, I suppose. A big thing of broccoli and also some fresh pineapple. So now I'm gonna put this all away. Boom, next day. Hello, hello, hi, hi. So what I will say about those options, uh, not incredibly offensive, right? These are, look guys, <sighs> I know before you call me an am baby, I know we like to poke fun at our girl and she's got a lot to poke fun of and a lot to criticize about, but I'll give credit where credit do is due. She had some, some better options that we've seen in the past. Nothing was really that offensive to me, minus like the, the pre-cut pineapple, because that's just that's just a lot of money. And the, the scalloped potatoes, I don't know. That's not my, my jazz, but all right. To each their own. So I'm actually getting ready for the day. Today I am actually filming my weigh-in because it was my weigh-in day today. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna She's do gonna my tell makeup first. So uh, last night, slash yesterday evening whatever um we went to the theaters and saw megan i've been wanting to see it oh, God. so bad and so has feline um her and i both have a movie theater fear and it's really weird because i mentioned it to her first and i was like embarrassed to like tell her i was like because it's a weird fear i have had this fear for probably a decade now um it has stopped me from going to the movie theater a lot but it hasn't stopped me from going, period, until... Dang. She's a strong girl, you guys. Recently. Um, I mean, I don't, I, don't like the, I don't like going to a theater, but it's not a fear of it. I just, it's expensive. <laughs> and you can, like, get anything on, like, you can order anything through, like, a streaming service now. There's just, I don't know, there's never been really, in the last couple years, not many really good movies that I've wanted to, like, actually go see in theater. The last few years, I haven't gone to the theater, but maybe once or twice. I'm going to say twice. Well, the pandemic uh, probably, uh, so the pandemic I, probably had a little bit to do with that one. <laughs> I'm just trying to live out of my comfort zone a little bit here, but, um, the fear has gotten worse for some reason when I'm in the theater, I feel like someone's going to come in and like unalive me. <laughs> you serious? I don't know what it <sighs> What? Seriously? I mean, I get, I know that that happened years ago and it's unfortunate, but really this is, dude, this is why she needs to get out more. Like I get anything she could, that could happen on the drive over there in the car. Like there's, there's stuff that could happen anywhere. And if you're really going to sit and stew on it and let it dictate your life, like I, you need to work on yourself, girl. You really, you're going to miss out on so much. I mean, already because of what you've done to your body, 
but also just through these like irrational fears. It is. But... I get it. Like everyone has these things. Like I do. I, I hate flying. Like I can do it and I do it a lot. I have to travel for work all the time, but I hate flying. The slightest like little bit of turbulence. I think that plane's like going down. Like I, my palms get real sweaty. Like I hate it, dude. So I get having fears, but like, come on, man. The theater. I told Feline about it and she was like, oh my God, I've never met anyone else with that fear. Okay, so this also brings me, where are the backs to my earrings? Sorry, I'm Is looking. It no, I'm it's looking and I can't it's find them. <sighs> um, they're usually in the same spot. <laughs> you could like almost say blames the audience Ready? for a problem for this. Um, so also, it is our fault she can't so go. So I have a weird thing about, oh my god, I can't even say it. Clusters of things. Ew. I'm sorry, baby. Celine's so annoying. Like, oh, I'm getting the goosebumps now. People don't understand it, unless you understand it. What did you say? Um, like holes, clusters of like dots. Oh, see, I'm starting to like shake. I don't know why. I think it's because last night I was on TikTok. God. Okay, now I'm doing victimizing herself. This is stupid. Come on. <gasps> TikTok ruined my night. Shut the fuck up. Uh, See, guys, how many times? Daddy Crusader, right? He tells y'all. I tell y'all all the time. Stay off of TikTok. It's stupid. You don't need to go on TikTok. And now look, poor Amber is traumatized because she went on TikTok. Sometimes I'm right about things, guys. Sometimes you just need to listen to me. Uh, a little bit before bed because I was just scrolling. Having the time of my life. Imagine there's people in other countries that like can't make ends meet or not even other countries like, you know, around the world. There's people around the world, right? They can't make ends meet. You know, they're struggling to provide for their families, put food on their table. But we got Amber over here like, oh, TikTok, oh, that privilege I have to access on my phone that I'm privileged enough to have ruins my night guys it, it ruined everything i can't believe it where are the backs of my earrings i'm stretching you know a little bit but you get my point so i was scrolling oh oh if you do that again i'm gonna punch you i'm not kidding and there was something i saw in there that sent me into a spiral i don't really know what it is but like i've never met anyone else who felt this way this one for me started in high school um i remember i was in biology class and we're just like doing our work in the textbook i flipped the page oh and there oh was this God, leg dude. on there that just, ew. I literally had to leave the classroom and I couldn't, like, I felt like I was gonna puke. I didn't understand what was wrong. You're so weak. Um, yeah, I ended up going home. Oh <laughs> I was my God, dramatic, really? Um, I ended up saying I need to go home because I don't, I didn't know what type of reaction I was having, but I don't know, but like, ugh, I'm like starting to get itchy and I have the goosebumps. If you know, you know, that's all. Is, so this, I, is this, is she talking about, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta figure this out. What's she talking about? Trypophobia. My dear crusaders, that's what it is. Now, I remember Amber's talked about this before. I, I guess she hasn't bothered to look up what it is. I mean, I had to, right? And I'm, you know, I mean, I'm an idiot in a helmet. What do you expect? Trypophobia. And she's going to take the next five minutes of our time to complain about how trypophobia just like ruined her entire life. I told Feline about it and she was like, oh my God, I have that same thing. So it's just like so weird. We I have, think like, a lot of people do, Amber. You're not unique. You're not special. A lot of people don't like this. Like, I think a lot of people have this or have this like fear as you'll... As you, same as little you fears. Will. But anyways, whatever. We went and saw Megan. Wow. I'm, I'm rambling. Is she gonna, I need to add that to the bingo card. Like, wow, I'm rambling. And it's she every gave it a 9 video. out of 10. And I honestly think I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 only because of course. I was able to sit there. Because there's TikTok dances in it. Through the whole movie and not once feel distracted. Um, I had, of course, my little anxiety. Um, I call it anxiety to... Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. Let's ramble. Stop! Stop it! Stop talking me! Why not? We're here. We're here to hear me talk. So I said anxiety um, in one of my vlogs and someone was like, oh my god, like why are you making fun of people with anxiety? Um, I suffer with really- Okay, so we'll backtrack the BED, but we'll have panic disorder now, I guess. Bad anxiety. And I have really bad social anxiety. Like it's getting worse. I'm very much an introvert, I feel like. Um, it, it depends. During Vlogmas, I was fine in public, like totally fine. But there when was a phase of time public? before that where, like, if I was in public and I needed Feline or whoever I was with to know, like, I'm having a little bit of anxiety, I don't want to just, like, 
hey yo i'm having anxiety like that's embarrassing so i was like you know what i'm just gonna say anxiety the people around me know exactly what that means and that's what matters so it's like a code word if you will and so i said that and someone I, mean, I think a lot of people go through i think i for, uh, so here's my issue with this right I, i'm not hating on amber for having anxiety and stuff like that like i get it i do too i i I have had it before in the past. I've since kind of gotten over. But when I, years ago, like when I got back from one of my first deployments, like I had a very hard time going in public and going in like large crowds. I like started kind of breathing heavy, did not enjoy it and avoided it for a couple of months uh, until, you know, I got a little bit of therapy and kind of was able to talk through some of the issues I was worried about. For Amber though, it's like, she is so open about her disorders and ailments and all these things, but she won't like, She's, she's saying here she's reluctant to be vocal about what she's experiencing, even though she'll tell us, the viewer, many, many times uh, on camera, on a public platform, uh, and a lot of the time, really, in my opinion, to garner views and sympathy. So that doesn't make sense to me. Ended by it, like I didn't mean to offend you. Like trust me, we're both suffering. But yeah, I gave it Megan ten out of ten. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't really know. How did we go about. from? How did we go, dude? So we went trypophobia. Uh, <laughs> what she call like panic disorder. And then I know she meant anxiety, but then talking about anxiety, then back to Megan again. Like this, this was quite uh, a leap. There's leaps and bounds here. Oh, but <laughs> might be a bad thing for my weigh-in video. Where is, am I not gonna get to wear earrings today? Is that the real deal? Oh no. I, oh, like I always have them at my desk. People are like always thinking I'm sitting at my- Oh God, God forbid she's gonna have to go to her closet and access the treasure trove of freaking earrings that amber has god forbid she's gonna have to get up and do that my couch i rarely sit on my couch it's like why do i have a couch i'm actually thinking of getting rid of the um because i have this really big circle like swivel chair in my living room that goes with my couch i'm actually thinking about getting rid of it because i feel like it's just taking up space i don't know um this is actually my office <laughs> i'm at my desk i want to wear these earrings and i only have one back to them so i'm trying to find my other one so that's the scandal right now all right i'll see you guys later scandal? Um, okay not the word frustrated but we we recommend Megan. Such a good movie. While I'm here, I feel like I can't stop talking. Um, this was the next book that I read, Lucy in the Sky by oh. Anonymous. The author is literally anonymous. It seems like it's really reflected around like drugs and addiction and stuff like that. And it's in journal form, which I love. Oh, is she going to talk about her brother? So that's what this was about. This is my third anonymous book that I have read. So it's just about a girl who she is 16, 17. She becomes addicted to drugs and kind of like she just documents that journey documents the journey with um guys in her life and spoiler spoiler alert so um skip 10 seconds from now she dies at the end so the that was a quick I, <laughs> if this spoils your book for you i'm sorry but i'm not like that was so stupid spoiler alert she dies <laughs> like that was as quick as it was dude <laughs> you didn't even get a chance page was her was like a newspaper article and she died i give this a four out of five. Oh, so it was really good it was entertaining it's a super fast read it's just so entertaining it just you feels like you don't want to put it down so it's really really good the next book wait 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 whoa, whoa, hold on what she said four out of ten oh entertaining. it just you feels like you don't want to entertaining it's a circle and she died I give this a four out of five. Oh, so okay. I messed up, guys. I, I always think about her food. I forget her food ratings and her book ratings are different. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. So four out of five. I thought she said four out of 10. Oops. I am on page 137 already. The Silent Patient. A lot of people have recommended this to me. And when I tell you it's already a five out of five, Ooh. I heard that there's a twist at the end. I like I literally have no idea what it could be. Um, I'm really excited. There was already a little moment where like it shocked the sh out of me. So I love that. This is so entertaining. Um, this is about a girl who kills her husband and she just doesn't speak now. It's been like six or seven years. She has not said a single word. Um, she's in a mental hospital and this guy is very intrigued by her. He is a psychologist, psychiatrist. And um, so he ends up working there because he wants to be the one to make her talk. So that is what that's following. Um, he's trying to figure out why did she kill her husband? Did she kill her husband? when is she going to talk what is she going to say he wants to be the one to do it and it's also following like his personal life um something's going on with him and his wife and i wasn't expecting like that personalness with it see the thing with me and books i don't want to know that much about it before i read it i just want to know the main point <laughs> i think a lot of people probably sympathize with that i think a lot of people go into books like that tell me in like two sentences or less 
one or two sentences please because I don't want to go into it knowing the whole story um and I have seen some people tell me that I'm not good at explaining books I do that purposely because I don't I share what I would want to know and I want to know as little as possible so yeah this so far is five out of five it is so freaking amazing so thank you to the people who recommended this to me <laughs> earring back gate so I opened my little uh makeup bag because I'm about to do my makeup and look at what I find my freaking earring backs okay all right now I'm about to do oh, my makeup. Our girl is just such a quirky mess, you guys. Holy crap. First comes first. Bear with me by NYX. This is Prime, etc. Refresher. Is that cetera, how much? What? Oh my god. Got a little on my tongue. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey guys. Wow, that was not funny. Is that how much you're supposed to spray, though? Like, I feel like that was a lot. I mean, I don't know. But to me, that seems like quite a bit, maybe? Welcome to week six of my weigh-ins. Nope. If you want to see my weigh-in, you can watch the last video I uploaded. Trust me, it's worth it. This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. Oh, really? Is this what we're going to do now? We're going to try... Is, are the views hurting that bad that she's trying to clickbait to go to other videos? Ooh, that's a, that's a new one for Amber. I haven't seen her do this before. Holy crap. I love when YouTubers do that. It's, it's awesome. That's, that's great. Hey, guys. It is the next day. I'm running on less than three hours of sleep. Um, no, currently... against my better judgment, I removed the one that said her complaining about her sleep. 6.16 a.m. I'm so tired. So there's some... Oh no, she's on the old person schedule, she calls it. Oh no. The tests that you have to get done um, before you get weight loss surgery. And today is one of those tests. I'm actually going to go to this place where I have to drink this stuff and I have to get my GI scanned right here. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I've been fasting for it, and I can't remember if I'm allowed to have water or not, so, um, I did Google. Well, it doesn't really matter, because she doesn't drink water anyway. And so it said you can cares? have a little bit of water, so I've had some water, but I'm feeling a little nauseous from lack of sleep, and I think I'm pretty hungry, so I don't like getting... I'm gonna go ahead and take hungry as mispronounces a word. That's like a, it's a gimme, but like, I'm just, I, I got it. I got it. I got to get the dopamine hit of marking something on the bingo board super hungry because then like sometimes it could be triggering to get this level of hungry because <laughs> then I overeat but it's like I have willpower now I'm not like gonna overeat or anything all right let's okay let's chill out here, here let's 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 address the elephant in the room real quick that's cool okay like I'll give it to her if she's really sticking with it that's great like fantastic I hope she can do it but we've been through this part of the cycle many times Whenever she gets excited of starting something new, she gets very, like, motivated. This is, like, the most motivating part of the journey. She usually finds a moderate amount of success in this phase. And then, like, she can't withhold it for a long period of time. So she's already talking about how she has all this newfound willpower. She's doing so good. All these things. But, like, we all, we know that this is a very fleeting thing. It doesn't last very long. Like, I'm personally going to give her till the end of the month, but I hope I'm wrong. Um... But, like, I, I don't think she's going to be able to maintain it that long because that's what, you know, history has told us in the past. I mean, hopefully I'm proven wrong. I mean, I don't know. But very textbook Amberlynn Reed right now. I'm just, like, excited to have my breakfast. Um, but anyways, we are about to leave. I'm going to go put on my shoes. I'm already ready, but I'm so freaking tired and I'm just, like, excited to get this done. I'm going to leave my camera here. I have not been vlogging any time that I go out. It's just not really my thing thing right now. Um, Why been not? It hasn't stopped you before i've seen a lot of my content on my weight loss because i feel like hasn't haven't people in the comments been saying too they would want to see amber's content of her like actually you know leaving the house for once in her freaking life like don't people want that god forbid she gives any of her french viewers or like the 10 like normal am babies that she has following her like anything that they want it's like goodness gracious like it's keeping me very very accountable and i love that but if i do want to film something i got my phone I just don't want to carry this big bulky thing around. Now I'm filming on my phone. And this is what I film on. This is my camera. That's what I always use. But I don't feel like um, carrying that in public. And by the way, this book, I'm obsessed. I read more before I went to sleep last night. Now I'm on page. Also, now that I think about it, see, guys, you're getting, a, you're getting some an idea of how my brain works. I just remember like her trypophobia creeps her out. So I'm, I'm marking that one. Please. I'm only like 10 minutes late to the conversation. Don't worry. 236. I am bringing it with me for the car ride because it's about 30 minutes away. So I figured I'd do a little reading. We got these seat warmers on because we are not playing today, folks. It is freezing out. 
Okay. That's all we get. That's the only glimpse of her leaving the apartment that we get, you guys. You guys, I'm so tired. Oh, um, so and I just had an time. eyelash in my eye, and I had to pick it out. So that's what, just what happened on my end. But an update. So I thought I was just going to have to drink, like, this normal, like, liquid that I usually get when I get, like, a CT scan. But, hi, I'm not a doctor. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I even though, so even though was, she claims to know more than a lot of doctors. But, okay, yeah in a little radiology place and they're like you're gonna have to drink several things and you're gonna have to stand up and then you're gonna have to lay out of bed and then you're gonna have to stretch and then you're gonna have to fake cough and then you're gonna have to fake poop and then you're gonna have to roll on your sides and i was like okay let's do this so yeah because you have to get that standing. stuff all through your system and and they had me drink this super fizzy drink i'm talking it was so fizzy it was hard to drink so it was like fizzing in my face like my whole face got wet oh my god like, dude we're gonna get the most over exaggerated story of all time like incoming right now experience and they were like you're gonna burp but don't burp and i was like okay i won't i didn't i listened to instructions but the minute i left that room i was i, wow, I, I let, first time i'm sure i let her rip i let one rip i'm not gonna lie and then wow burping so funny you guys wow um, they're like here you're gonna drink this it was like so thick it was like white pudding and they're like you're, take two drinks of that now so i took two drinks of that and then they were like, okay, so here's a pill. You're going to take the pill with that super thick white drink. And I was like, okay. And I kind of gagged a little bit and they had to hand me a bag. They thought I was going to puke. Thankfully I didn't. Um, it was just like really extreme. Oh my God. Because your girl's a queen. Oh, my face is breaking out. That's cute. Cool. Yeah. Let's God, dude. And she wonders why we think she's a narcissist. She can't go like a minute without her, like pointing out something on her face or talking about herself. But, um, next thing they had also, me. Also, I'm doing, dude, this is like. A hospital visit. This is like private information, right? Like, I'm just gonna do her sharing private information. I lay down and I had to turn on my side and then drink this like sour drink out of a straw. It was an interesting situation type deal, but everyone there was Ooh, there glad I go. Don't. That's what I'm talking about. An another bingo spot. Yes, 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 yes. That done. Now I can check that off the list because let me tell you, there's quite a few things on that list. Um, and it's just things are a brewing. My next appointment that I know for sure that is scheduled is coming up within like 10 days. So I'm really excited for that because um, that one is also a very, very important one. So we're just getting things down. Like, of course, I wish everything could just be done with a snap of a finger, but that's just like not reality. And time, honestly. Wow. I, I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Like if she hasn't learned that by now, like goodness gracious, <laughs> like all the fad diets she's done over time. Moves really quickly anyways. So I'm learning being so impatient. I'm just like super excited to like change my life like i'm just like i, I don't sure know. hope it stays you guys <laughs> i was about to say it i feel good <laughs> i've been saying that in every video oh my god okay so it's been a little bit since i spoke to you guys and i officially have an appointment to do the psych evaluation and they ended up calling i have my appointment scheduled i'm so excited they sent me some emails of like questionnaires that i have to do um i'm having to fill out like this whole thing right now i'm having to answer how many drinks containing alcohol do you have on a typical day when you are drinking? Oh, she chose this one. This was like, she chose this for a reason. I'm excited to see her answer. I don't drink. Hell yeah. There it is. Because we know, because she knows how much crap we gave her about her last drunk stream. What was that like? Almost, that was like close to a year ago. I how feel often like. do you have six or more drinks on one occasion? Never. So. See, she's really proven us wrong, guys. Our girl doesn't It's drink. supposed to take 45 minutes, and then I have to do a... So this is the... It's very interesting that she just chose those questions out of probably all the questions on there. <laughs> uh, psychological... Yeah, this is pre... But what about the Delta 8? Huh? We're not going to address that? Pre-surgical psychological assessment, and then I have to do pre-surgical bariatric questionnaire. So I'm about to do those. Um, they both take about 45 minutes each, so... That's going to be a little bit of time that I'm going to be doing here. Um, and I'm going to answer these questions. I'm actually really excited. I can't believe um, that I have an appointment for that. Like, that's been the, that's going to be the thing that the main... Like, obviously, I want weight loss surgery like this. Like, now. Like, give it to me now. <laughs> but that's not realistic. You know, it's easy to go get my labs done. It's she easy just to go get my um, heart checked. It's easy to go get all these appointments and all that. Well, it hasn't been. It's taken you a long time to do all this. Like, oh my god, what? But the nitty gritty is working up here. And that's the important part. So, and that part's starting. Finally. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah. Mariah Carey decided not to pay me a visit today. <laughs> Dude, shut. Just shut up, please. Let me try again. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so tonight for dinner, oh. we are having some baked chicken wings, which is just has seasoning on it, and we just put it on aluminum foil. So, the flats are my favorite. Oh my god. Yeah. Looks so good. 
I guess I'll have one of these moments. And then we're also having zucchini, squash, and onion with some fresh garlic. Oh my God, it smells so good and it looks so good. I am starving, truly. Oh, there it is, rarity proof of life. We haven't, it's right we here. haven't seen wasabi in a while though. She's looking at my hand because she knows. But baby girl, it's underneath you. <laughs> oh yeah, she found it. There we go. Oh. Point to it, baby. Ooh, I'll take that, baby. Boom. So this is my Titanic box, my set. Oh, okay, speak of the dang devil. No, no, I was, oh, why did I remove it? No, I removed the wasabi proof of life because she just stopped showing wasabi. Oh, are you kidding me? Second box it comes with three because my Lego Titanic is massive and I just finished the second box. Well, I'm almost done with it, I have one bag left. Where is it? But Rudy and wasabi. We're running out of time, I need to see it. Come on, now. Look how beautiful they are. So I wanted to give you guys an update on my- There it is. I'll take doing a hobby designed for children. Tonic. I know it's been a while, but this is how much I have done. It's a lot. Um, I'm on the last book. It comes with three and yeah, like it's amazing. <sighs> well, I can, I, can, I can pass away happy now that I finally got an update on Amber's She's Titanic. She's gonna send to somebody. <laughs> She's proud of my work. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks so good. So I'm on 29. <laughs> Feline loves your food, proud of your work, like, oh my god, And there's dude, 47. Feline's basically a glorified freaking caretaker at this point. Like, that's how it seems. Steps, and I'm on the 29th. Point. Like, yay, mommy, mommy's proud of me. Mommy's proud of me for putting Legos together. Mommy's proud of me for actually taking care of myself for once. Really? Hi that's guys. where we're at. So I am filming an outro because I feel bad when it just stops abruptly. Oh, what was, what was? Oh here, oh, here it comes. No, I, oh, I can't stop it. Yeah, because it's freaking stupid and not professional if we're going to treat this as a job that you're so passionate about. And you can't even have the, like, common courtesy to, like, take five seconds. This literally took five seconds to type this out. See you later. And then, like, freaking... Or no, it probably wasn't even typed out. She freaking probably just took a random card off of whatever editing software she uses, just smacked it on there and called it good. That's all it takes. And she couldn't do that for like the last like eight videos. Oh my God, mad. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are feeling as good as I am. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I didn't get a damn bingo. <laughs> my goodness. <sighs> hey guys. I hope you enjoyed the video because I did not. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about Amber's journey so far. Do you think this is going to last? What do you guys think about it? I mean, I'm open to speculation. Me personally, like I said before, I feel like we've been here before. We've seen success before. This isn't the first time she's had success, but it didn't last very long and she fell back into her own old ways. Again, I'm not advocating or hoping that it does happen. I think at the end of the day, a lot of us want to see some sort of success here, but, uh, at the end of the day, we've been here before. We've seen her do this over and over again and kind of relapse back into our old ways. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. Again, too, I invite y'all to subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, slap around the bell button, whatever. The, would Do it. Just freaking whatever. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll see y'all in the next video.